G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. Today what we're going to be having a look at is how to quickly multiply two three digit numbers together. And this little method you see here is a really really good one. We're going to use it to multiply two three digit numbers but you can actually expand it to multiply two four digit numbers, two five digit numbers, but I'll do that in some later videos. Today we're just going to have a look at the two three digit videos. We're not going to get faster than a calculator like we were in previous videos but we're still going to get pretty quick. So let's go then. What I recommend, get yourself some pen and, a pen and paper and see if you can follow along with these, okay? So first off, I'll give you a bit of a race. And if you have your pen and paper handy, the one I'll race you with is this question here. 121 times 310. All right, ready, set, go. So one times nothing is nothing. Two times nothing is nothing. One times one is one. One plus nothing is there. Okay, nothing plus two plus three is five. We have one plus uh, six is seven. And three times one is three. There's my answer. How'd you go? Did you beat me? Okay, oh, if you didn't come close, I, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll show you how to improve. But if you did beat me, congratulations, okay? I'll run through how I did this. So, I'll rub my answer out. And I'm going to go through this. Now, the trick with this, if you can spot the pattern on how to do this, it's, it's you've got pretty much it worked out. And it's, uh, at the start, it looks a little bit daunting, but it starts to become very, very apparent, the pattern, once you do this a few times. So first off, what I multiplied to get this number, the very last number, is I multiplied this number here. So 1 times nothing is nothing. To get the next answer, I multiplied this number and this number, this number and this number, and I added my result together. So 2 times nothing is nothing, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 plus nothing, we've got 1. Okay, for the next one, I multiplied these two numbers, these two numbers, and these two numbers. And I'm going to put, add the result together, so 1, plus, 1 times nothing, nothing, 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 1 is 3, so nothing plus 2 plus 3. The answer of 5. For the next number, maybe you'll be able to guess what we're going to do. Multiply these two numbers and these two numbers. 1 times 1 is 1, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. And then last of all, we're going to multiply these two numbers. 3 times 1, and we get the answer of 3. There's our answer. Did you see the pattern there? If not, rewind go through it again, have a quick look, because the pattern is everything. If you get that, you'll be really, really good at these. Okay, what about we do a different question? What about the question I'll give you, uh, you might want to follow along and see if you can do these. It's 425 times 334. Okay, let's go. So, 5 times 4, uh, we're going to get the answer of 20 now. I'm going to put the zero down there, but because this number is bigger than a single digit, it's two digits, 20, I'm going to carry the two across. The next thing we're going to do, two times four, five times three. So eight plus 15. Eight plus 15 is 23, plus two is 25. I'm going to have to carry that two across. I'll get rid of him. Now the next one, you're going to get a few numbers here. You might want to jot these down if you, you don't like carrying too many numbers in your head. 4 times 4, 16. 2 times 3 is 6. 5 times 3, 15. So what are all those added together? 16 plus 6, 22. Plus 15 is 37. Plus 2 is 39. Now we're going to multiply these two, okay? So 2 times 3 is 6. 4 times 3 is 12. 12, and there should have been a little 3 up here I put as well. So, 12. <laughs> Better check that over again. 6 plus 12 plus 3 is 21. And I'll carry that too. And last of all, 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2 is 14. The answer, 141,950. How'd you go with that? Pretty good? 
okay. Well, I'll tell you what. What I recommend is I'd keep jotting a few of these down. Get yourself a calculator and practice doing these so you can get the right answers and that sort of deal. But uh, this can be used to even work out... A similar thing can be used to work out four-digit numbers, five-digit numbers. So eventually what you should be able to do, and we're going to have a look at in the next video, is how to go through and say multiply questions this big. 5,127 times 4,215. Almost as quickly. Okay, and if you'll be able to do these, you'll be like a genius. You'll gobsmack people. Anyway, thanks for that. See you next time.